Hello friends, my name is Yogendra Pal and I welcome you in the video tutorial series named Yogi's Guide to Web Development. Friends, in my last video, I told you that website is a collection of web pages. So if you want to learn to make websites, you need to learn how to make web pages. But before making a web page, you should know that there are two types of web pages, a static web page and dynamic web page. Let's first talk about a static web page. Static means the thing that do not change. So a static web page is a web page where all the information, all the content, whether it's a text, image, video, audio or other multimedia elements do not change. That means if 50 people are watching your web page, they will see the same information that is written on a page and you write the information yourself. So if you want to make a change on a static web page, you need to change it manually. On the other hand, a dynamic web page is a web page that changes and there can be various parameters on which the content of a web page change. For example, a content of a web page can be changed based on the person, based on the geographic location, based on your search history, based on time. So there can be various parameters on which a content of a web page changes. A website that has static web pages is known as a static website and a website that has dynamic web pages is known as dynamic website. Let me show you some examples of static website and dynamic website. So I have opened this website smilefoundationindia.org. This is a famous NGO website and this is a static website. Let's go to some other page for example about us page. So this is a web page. This web page has this content. Genesis, these are some of the menus. And at the same time when I am watching this website, if someone else is watching this website, me and that person both are seeing the same content. It might possible that when you see this web page, it is changed. And if it is changed, this means that a webmaster, the one who is managing this web page has manually made those changes. So this is a perfect example of a static website. Let's take a look to the dynamic website now. So this is facebook.com. It's a perfect example of a dynamic website. So I am visiting facebook.com and I want you to open facebook.com. Okay. And log into it. So what you will see that here on my web page, I am seeing my profile picture and my name. While if you have logged into your Facebook page, you will see your profile and your name. The number of notifications might be different for you. Here in my news feed, I am seeing posts from my friends or the pages I am following. While it is completely different on your page, although both are same page facebook.com. So this is a perfect example of a dynamic website. So now you know that there are two ways to create a web page. One is a static way and another is a dynamic way. But you do not know how to create a static page or a dynamic page. In my next video, I will tell you about the languages that you need to know to create static web pages. And the video that will come after that video, you will know what languages do you need to learn to create dynamic web pages. So I will see you in my next video. Till then, goodbye.